What's up guys, King Epic here. If you've been to Bangkok before, you are familiar with well-known spots such as Soi Nana, Soi Levin, Soi BJ, etc. Hell, that's probably the case even if all you did was watch my videos. But what about the Soi's in between or close by? Soi means side street, so are there any side streets worth checking out or is it always better to stick to a popular venue? Well, in today's video, I'll answer the question, or better yet, I'll show you what's in store for you so you can decide if it's worth going there. These side streets are not crowded, packed with bars or noisy, nothing like that. They are not secret either. I'm not claiming that. It's just that you, like many others, might have walked past them without noticing what's inside. To be honest, this video didn't turn out the way I had it planned. The plan was to film inside many of the lesser known stories, provide info on interesting spots, but the more time I spent exploring each side street, the more I realized that I cannot, in good conscience, recommend any of them. The truth is, there are only three what I will call underrated Swiss that are worth checking out. By that I mean actual streets with tons of options where almost anyone will find what he's looking for. I will however mention other spots at the end of the video. Keep in mind those side streets might only have one or two interesting venues, so it might be a waste of your time. Alright, let's start with what I consider the big three. Here's what I'll cover in this video and the location of each. Soy 8, Soy 22, and Soy 33. Alright, you can find all places mentioned in my Bangkok guide. Let's get started. Soy 8, this is where it gets quite interesting because not only do you find a number of bars here, some provide interesting services. One of them is Lolitas. To get to this bar, simply enter Soy 8, then turn into the small alley at the Kiwi Pop. From there, interesting things will start to happen if you don't resist and have a few hundred baht with you. <laughs> In my opinion, Soy 8 is a must visit. It's located directly at Nana BTS and opposite of Soy 11. Soy 22, I did already cover this Soy in a separate video, so I will not go into further details here. It's worth checking out tons of bars and massage places. Soy 33, if you've walked around near Brom Pong Station, you have no doubt noticed the massage places. There's many of them. In fact, if you look up Bangkok massages online, you find that it's probably a massage place that is located right around this area. Many are. I've actually been here the first time when I tried a neuro massage. Again, most of these places qualify as low risk, meaning it doesn't take much time or money to get here from a soak or soy cowboy. And if you don't find anything you like, well, not much is lost. During daytime, you can always combine your trip here with a visit to the high end malls, which are directly at Brompong Station, you know to shop or pick up girls. Most of the other massage places in this area are located in Soy 24. I wanted to include this Soy as well and do a full walk around, but honestly there's not much to see. Some massage parlors are at the beginning of the street and side alleys, but that's about it. All right, to finish up, I'll list some other spots that you might or might not want to check out. Soy 3, I didn't really want to mention this one because in my opinion, it's not worth going there for most people. The only reason I mentioned it in this video is Grace Hotel. You might or might not have heard about it. A ton of people have asked me about Arab girls. This is where you'll find some. Although I personally have never seen an attractive one. If you have nothing better to do, uh, yeah, maybe check it out. So 13, some bars here, if you like it less crowded, you can meet ladies here and play pool. There's a massage shop further down the road. Again, if you have extra time or just want to explore different side streets, what you could do is enter at Soy 13 and then approach Soy 11 from the other side. Soy 19, if you want to check out the Hooters but don't like the other Hooters, that is a Soy Nana because it's too crowded and busy, that's an option. And lastly, I've added a surprise layer to my Bangkok guide. This is where you will find random cool places you might not have thought about. I always change it and never tell you in advance. This goes for the entire guide and interactive map. It's not static, but constantly evolving and uh, update uh, at new locations and re remove the ones that I think are not worth mentioning anymore. Thanks for watching and see you next time.